Our dramatic last minute winner against Liverpool sent the crowd into scenes of frenzy. With the gap at the top of the table now cut to just four points and Watford winning all four of our last four games, it's easy to forget just how much of a struggle we were going through earlier on in the season. Now in form and back to our best, when transfer deadline day came round, it was no surprise to see Marco Silva do nothing whatsoever. His signings this season have been fantastic, and after completing moves for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain and Johnny Evans earlier on in the window, the gaffer could put his feet up and watch the coverage unfold on Sky Sports News without needing to get involved himself. There will be one departure in the summer, with Arabat leaving on a free, but other than that there was nothing to report, but as February came round and the window slammed shut, what a great start it was for the month for me as an individual, because after a run of fine performances, I was voted Player of the Month for January, picking up my second award of this season. Once of Umbro, now repping Puma, I've had a fantastic start wearing my new boots, but I also know that I couldn't have won this award without my teammates, so this award, as always, is dedicated to them. Whilst I may be the star player, I can't forget how good my supporting cast have been, and we'd be nowhere near the top of the table if not for them, and for our first game today, I know we'll all be needing Player of the Month type performances if we're to get the win and progress to the next round of the FA Cup as we take on Arsenal in a repeat of last year's FA Cup final. It was heartbreak at Wembley when the Gunners beat us 2-0, now taking them on in the fourth round this season. We're looking for revenge as we aim to start the new month off with a big statement victory in our objective to hopefully this season get back to the final once again, and maybe, just maybe, this time, right our wrongs and go all the way. I believe we are out for revenge tonight, no doubt about it, after the loss in the FA Cup final last year at Wembley. Um, based on our streak of late, it's been pretty decent, four wins in our last four, and obviously we did get thumped by Manchester City at the start of the month, we all remember that. We've definitely picked it up since then, and hopefully we'll be able to get another big win here. Chamberlain finds me, and I'll give it straight back to him. As a former Arsenal player does find Shalova, now Ducore into Nathaniel, into my feet, now through towards Gray, nice build up here. As I look for an opening on Nacho Monreal, I've found one, and I've put it just wide the post. I've been in good goal-scoring form all season long, and that was a golden chance there, away from the Spanish left-back, found the opening, but couldn't hit the target. Our defeat in the FA Cup final was a result of missed opportunities. Will it be the same in the fourth round this year? Zappa Costa receives the pass and plays it out wide to Chamberlain. Plays me through and again, I'm away here down this right hand side and again, I'll go for goal and oh my word, again, I've fired it across the body but way off target. 19 minutes in, two brilliant opportunities and after my recent run of form, winning player of the month, you'd wonder why based on those shots. I can't believe it, twice in a row, it's a carbon copy. Petr Cech not required to make a save because my finishing, dreadful. That's Season one, Ducore to Richard Lisa now into my feet, and I've got round one. Can I release Andre Gray? Yes, 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 yes. But check with a save and then a bundle, and Kalaz in actual clear. Much more like it. Gray being sent forward, recording a shot on target. I couldn't do that, but a good stop there by Czech as it is still nil nil. But we've been a much better team in this first half as we look for the opening goal. Ducore to Shaloba. And now Richarlison into my feet. Oh, Gray running through. I've picked him out again. This time, can he finish? Well, again, it's on target. But again, check is equal to it. In the first half, it's been all Watford. We've been absolutely dominating. We're in full control. But this really is a repeat of the FA Cup final down to every single detail. We're playing really well. We're looking on top. We're looking in form. But we just can't score. And that means that at half time as we trot into the dressing room, still deadlocked at 0-0, Marco Silva will be pulling his hair out. No surprise the fans are in good voice. We've played well. You can see by my reaction, I'm disappointed. It's not good enough. We've got to take these chances and get ourselves in front. Cock away to Aaron Ramsey. 25 minutes to go. Still deadlocked at 0-0. We really don't want the replay. We see key games to come, including the Champions League round of 16. But Arsenal at the moment are playing for the replay, it seems. They're just, they're just passing the ball around. They're yet to record a shot. And the Kokolan and Kalasnach must be best friends in them some at the Aaron moment, Ramsey. but still nil-nil. I expect them to have a late flurry of chances, like they did in the FA Cup final when they weren't to win an extra time. But at the moment, still tied at nil-nil, and it does seem as though a replay is most likely. 
Charles Bell has to win the game, cross the middle, center. Pereira heads clear, it'll drop to my feet and we'll get it away and I'll play it long if I can because there's a man running through and what a ball that is and what a chance as Chamberlain takes it in his stride, Alex can you finish? Yes he can, puts it through Pedicek for his first Watford goal in his first start for his new club with four minutes to go, we've won it late on just like against Liverpool, Watford won, Arsenal nil, I missed so many chances in the first start. Half. I needed to be more of a passer in the second and my glorious Good long ball sent, sent Chamberlain through what a brilliant first to touch and the finish through the legs of Chekovic no just squeezed in at the near post just like it gets carriers and at the moment I must say the goalkeeping in all of my saves is a little bit suspect both for us and against us but Chamberlain with the finish turns it home it's Watford 1 Arsenal 0 as he gets his first goal for his new club and what a story from Arsenal to Liverpool to Watford and he's now surely going to dump out one of his former clubs so the in the FA well. Cup fourth round. You know that I don't use sliders I just want to confirm that for you but this this is really weird. In my Aston Villa career mode in my my player save for some reason the, the goalkeepers they're just not really performing at the moment but hey we don't mind one bit as Chamberlain gives us the game winner and we're surely through to the fifth round. Come on! And that will do it. You see what the result means to the fans, Watford jumping for joy as we get revenge on Arsenal after losing to them in the FA Cup final last season. A 1-0 scoreline, just a lot of chance in the first half, but Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain did not miss. His first goal for his new club, and what a memorable one. It's always a memorable moment when you score your first goal for your club, and to do it against one of your former teams, a game winner in a crucial FA Cup tie must have made the feeling even sweeter for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Off the mark, getting the game winner right at the death and bailing me out after my terrible two misses in the first half. But speaking of memorable moments, I knew during the game there was something I forgot and that was that I just hit my second memorable moment of my career. The assist for Alex, Ox Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's goal was beautiful and it was also the 8th of 10 memorable moments on my list. An assist from inside the own half, a wonderful pull to send Chamberlain through from such a long way away. It's a shame that I forgot the instant replay at the time. That was the best screenshot I could get from the match highlight section, but in a way, it kind of feels quite nice. I'm a massive Michael Jackson fan, one of my biggest inspirations in life. So to pay tribute to him with the smooth criminal type lean, actually looked like a pretty cool picture. So Oxlade Chamberlain scored the goal to win us the game, send us through to the FA Cup fifth round in a massive victory for Watford. But for our second game today, we're taking them on again, but this time in the Premier League as we travel away to London to take them on at the Emirates Stadium. Right now, just a few points behind Spurs, and they're just behind us as well. This is another massive battle against Arsene Wenger's team, but this time in the league. Can we make it two wins from two and get another massive victory here, keep the mini win streak going, or Arsenal get revenge and get the win and hold our very good little run? After all what the a moment the that was. Starts. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, first goal for the club. Terrible first touch there. Coming against one of his former teams to knock him out of the FA Cup in us getting revenge away. on last year's FA Cup final defeat. That was, that was extraordinary and a great way to end the game. Another right, memorable moment as well, attack. my second of my career. It's such a shame I couldn't get a better screenshot. Here's Richard Eason on the ball, finding some space. Can he get a shot away? He crosses and Chamberlain turns it in and I don't believe it. Arsenal nil, Watford one and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain who's just picked up two assists, uh, sorry, two goals, sorry, in two games against one of his former teams. Great work by Richard Leeson. Bends one to the far post. Gray was the dummy diving header, if you will, and Chamberlain beat his man in the air to turn it past Petacek for a second time. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain showing no love for the fans that used to sing his name. I knew that Chamberlain would be a great signing because all of Marco Silva's new additions this year have been absolutely fantastic. Zappa Costa and Lukaku, brilliant fullbacks this year and, and Chamberlain off to a red-hot start. Two goals already in these two games and uh, a great defensive header there to get it behind for a corner. Still 1-0. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain motivated clearly corner to the middle flicked on by Chiellini wide of the post if we can get the win in this game and keep the pressure on the league leader Spurs what a result this will be come on Watford let's make sure we close this one out
Back to Lauren Koscielny, uh, now through to Hector Bellerin, out wide is Alexis Sanchez, good chance here for the Gunners to respond, Sanchez back to Lacazette, receives it again, and Lacazette to Sanchez as the flag stayed down, Lacazette inside, cleared by Priddle, and we shall get the danger away as Chiellini wins the header on Gray, Arsenal pressing, looking for the equalising goal, can they find it, Sanchez shooting, Sanchez scoring, what a goal from Alexis Sanchez, now joining Manchester United in real life in the game, still at the Emirates Stadium, and aren't the fans pleased? What a strike! Coquelin flicks into Elneny, who finds the Chile and takes one touch, gets it out of his feet, and that's a brilliant goal, right into the top corner, and no chance for the goalkeeper. Sanchez with the equaliser, who is 11th of the season. Arsenal won, Watford won, an hour to play. This is going to be a fantastic game. Lukaku into my feet, and I've got Richard Leeson with me, and instead I'll go back towards Jordan. And Lukaku now across to Shaloba. Shaloba to Zappa Costa. Now to Nathaniel, back to Zappa Costa as we look for an opening in the Arsenal defence. Ducore finds Gray on there if he wants, mate, on there if he wants. And I'll give it straight back to him. Andre Gray, good block by Chiellini. It'll drop to me. Richard Leeson off the crossbar and cleared by Gaia. What a first half this has been. Chamberlain on the ball, squeezes one through to Gray. Gray, Ducore, check with the save. Parries it behind for a corner. This has been fantastic. Can we play Arsenal every single game? Because I'm absolutely loving this. There, and we'll win it back here as Ducore finds Shaloba into my feet. Out wide is Richard Leeson. And he just got held off Sanchez. Well done, mate. There's Lukaku, rolls it into my feet. And I've got a little bit of space here to get inside if I can. I've got Andre with me. Gray, turn, shoot, scores. And it's Arsenal 1, Watford 2. Our lead restored just before the break. And to be fair, it was coming. We've closed out this first half really well. And it's Andre with the strike as we get ourselves back in front. Nice little turn to beat my man, roll it into the feet of Andre, got it out of his feet and fires it past Czech in at the near post. Arsenal 1, Watford 2, three goals in the first half. I just love playing against the Gunners right now. Every single game, so fun. And this one, no exception. 2-1, come on Watford. Let's close out these three points and keep the pressure on the league leader Spurs. Five minutes to go, still leading by one. Can we close out this win and get a big three points here to keep the pressure on league leader Spurs? Bellarabi, through ball and Check read that perfectly. Great goalkeeper there by the former Chelsea man with nine minutes to go. But Arsenal are going to need another goal. Otherwise, we're going to get another big win in this really good little mini win streak. Ball played through to Ducore. And Richard Leeson sends me, and this should be it. This should be it. This should be it. It's all. No, it's not. Oh my god. Seriously? I mean, it's great to get the assist, back to back assists, but seriously? What happened to my finishing? It was so good for the past few games, and now it's back to being atrocious again. It's a two star week of left foot, so maybe you can let me off, but uh, no, no, I'm not going to let myself off the hook. That should have been another goal. There's a good chance here. I've got Penn around and a dummy runner, and I'll send Richard Leeson through. Come on, show me how to finish. Show me how to finish. That's how you finish, Docs. That's how you finish, mate. And Watford are going to finish this game off with the three points. Arsenal 1, Watford 3. It's game over. And for the second time in a week, we beat the Gunners first in the Cup, then in the league. We certainly got revenge after our FA Cup final loss. I need to work on my finishing again. But Richard Leeson picks up the goal. It's my second assist of the game. And I think my 13th assist in the Premier League season. But most importantly, Watford keeping the pressure on the league leaders Spurs. Come on. We didn't want to see our mini win streak halted by the Gunners after just beating them in the cup. And whilst they may have got the equaliser and not played terribly tonight, we have been the better team. But the one thing I'll say is this, and I've said this a few times and I'll say it once again. EA need to change Arsenal on FIFA Karuma because they're just so passive. They're so submissive. They can be so easy to beat, either in manager CM or player CM. They need to work on Arsenal. Please, they're not a terrible team, but on the game, they can at times be far too easy to beat. It's not fair. It's not right. But it's a win for Watford. That's the most important thing. 100% passing. Less said about the shots off target, the better. But two assists picked up as well in a really great individual display and a fantastic team win for Watford as we come through and get the big three points. And Mauricio Pochettino, keep looking over your shoulder because we are going absolutely nowhere. But they won, which is a bit of a shame. But still, point stands. We're going nowhere. We are going to be in a title race with them this season. I can feel it. I can just feel it. But that will end today's to my player, though, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed today's episode of my player, then please do drop a like, as likes are, of course, very much appreciated. And it really helps channel out as well. 
Much love to you all. Have a fantastic night. And I'll see you for the next episode of my player featuring more very big games with Watford very soon.